Oh no, my Uber card was declined. <laughs> we got a McDonald's offer, $5, 3.9 miles, and our usual goal to make $100 today. Let's just see what happens. There was a homeless guy waiting by the drive through pickup. <laughs> that was kind of scary. Dash, yep, DoorDash. E3B. There you go. Great, thank you. Thank you. Nobody wants to be pulling up to the drive through of McDonald's and a homeless guy standing right next to the menu begging for money. That is just creepy as all hell. Okay, we're two minutes away, 0.9 miles from the drop off. It's a house and it's a leave it at the door. I'd much rather just sit at home hanging out with my dogs than going driving somewhere for four dollars. Why can't people just at least pay five? Thirteen dollars seventy cents shopping at Vons for six items. <laughs> the car slipped. I got lost some traction on the road. I guess I must have run something over. We're here. We're here. Let's do some shopping. If you have your club card, please scan it now. Five. Sixty-nine. If you have your club card, please scan it now. Three ninety-nine. We're on our way to the customer. Eight minutes. Two. <laughs> two point seven miles. We're gonna be going into Anthem Country Club. We gotta go through the security guard to deliver it. Hopefully. They put us on the list. Sometimes they put us as an Uber Eats driver, and sometimes they put us on as a Vons grocery delivery driver, and sometimes they put us on as Postmates. Have a good day. Thank you too. All right, we made it in. Four minutes, 1.7 miles, driving 25 miles an hour on this long road <laughs> in this place. $11.21, 6.3 miles, two Starbucks deliveries. All right, we've arrived at Starbucks. Let's go get that. All right, we got the goods. Let's drop it off. Our first stop is a meet at the door and requires a pin. We're four minutes away, 1.8 miles. Great, the person said, just to leave it on the table by the door and do not ring the doorbell. And But she still has it set up to require a pin. <laughs> I'll see if I can bypass it. If not, I'll have to contact her. Left. Speed bump. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, 
set it on the table and then she came out of her house and I was able to get the pin number. Next stop, two minutes away, 1.1 miles. Looks like a house. Next up is a Walgreens offer and it is so short, it's 2.1 miles from here and they're going to pay us $13.14. We're shopping for 13 items. Now arriving at Walgreens, gotta get a lot of groceries, man oh man, that was a lot of stuff, it went all over the place. Whew. That's a lot of groceries for a Walgreens order. Hard to shop for groceries at Walgreens. Even though it's smaller, there's a lot more complications. Their eggs, they like they didn't have any eggs. And I was looking at all the different freezers. You know, the ones that have those stupid digital screens that are, are blank when you first uh, walk up to them. And then they take a while to show you what's in the refrigerator or freezer. So you just end up opening the freezer anyway and looking. $5, 12 cents, 8.1 miles, no. So. You end up opening up the freezer and then the eggs were supposed to be at the bottom shelf but they you couldn't see them they were shoved way in the back so i had to get on my hands and knees to reach for those darn eggs and the first one i grabbed there were four eggs missing from the <laughs> missing from the pack and uh so but i was able to, to get everything that she wanted except for one item which was some kind of mac and cheese item but everything else and she was happy she she sent a smiley face and a thanks and then as I was checking out, the line was long and then somebody stole something. They ran out of the store with something and the lady got on the intercom saying somebody ran out of the store with something. <laughs> oh, welcome to Vegas. We are arriving. So we're at $45, we've driven 20 miles, and it's been two hours. So that's about $22 an hour at the moment. Looks like it says slow down quite a bit. I'm almost home, so could be time for a break. It's 8 a.m. $4.50, 2.8 miles for egg works. Not that great, but it's slow, so gotta do it. Person is going 20 miles an hour in a 35 mile an hour zone. I'm like, come on, let's go. Now arriving, Egg Works, home of terrible food. Got a dirty stack. We got a $5. Four miles on our way. Egg Works drop off is nine minutes away, three miles, and it's somebody who is sight impaired. 
So they've gave me specific instructions on where to meet them. Thank you. All right. Well, that went just fine. He was he was just coming out of his house and was walking to the spot where he said to meet him, and it was an easy handoff. So next up is Chick Fil A, and it's going to be uh, five dollars and two point four miles. All right. I got both orders for Chick Fil A. First one's five minutes away, one point seven miles, and we are on our way. We're at $70, 3.5 hours, we're at $20 an hour. Capriati, $7.54 for four miles. See you there. Hi, pick it up for Veronica. All right, we got the pickup. We're headed uh, 3.8 miles from here, 10 minutes and it's an office building. Here we go. There you go. Thank you, Thank you. have a good day. Thank you. Okay, that's all delivered and now we have just $20 left to go. It is 9.40. We should be done by 11 o'clock at the latest. $8.45, two deliveries, 5.8 miles, Starbucks. I was at home for about an hour. It just was completely slow and all the offers that came in were terrible. So I just kind of kicked back and relaxed and it's 11.02 a.m. now and I should only have about another hour to go and I'll be done. You know, the lunch rush has begun. Second pickup, we're going to Munchbox. It's four miles, no, 1.6 miles away, five minutes away. And uh, yeah, it's for the same person, so we're on our way. Yeah, for Lana. All right, we got the Munchbox. Uh, five minutes, 2.5 miles to the drop off. Here we go. We got a lot of stuff to drop off. We got two OJs, we got this big old bag of breakfast stuff, and then of course behind it, Starbucks. I'm not gonna have any hands to video. Oh well, at least you can see the food from here and maybe some shot of me walking in front of the car. It's 11.27 and we got $12 to go. We'll see what happens. Oh, something's coming in. $10.49 for two deliveries, 6.3 miles. Well, I guess if that's all we're gonna get, we'll just have to take it. It's gonna leave us short. That's your pickup at Thomas Bulls in Rouse Eastern Avenue. Yeah, that's gonna leave us about $2 short. So, boo, we gotta do one more after that. All right, we got the two orders. Let's get them delivered. First drop off. Turn right on Thunder Heights Parkway. Six minutes, 2.2 .2 miles. Here we go. Hi, for Chris. Yes, thank you very much. Uh -huh, you're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. 
All right, next drop off is 10 minutes away, four miles. And then of course we gotta do one more after this. All right, let's do it. Person met me at my car and they had the pin number, which was excellent. So now I'm at $99. So now I'm just gonna start heading towards home. And if I get something that's reasonable, then I will take it. If not, $99 is gonna be where it stands. We got a $14.04 shop for 12 items driving 2.2 miles. Can't beat that, that's a good one. Oh no, it's all women's makeup and beauty items. Oh, we're gonna be in there a long time, everyone. Brace for impact. Save the best for last, so we're just gonna do the hurt grocery items first. One I'm gonna have to have help with. Look, it's in a security box. Oh, got a substitute. Hope they like it. I just gotta wait in line. Because I got that security thing. That stupid security thing. With this box. I gotta wait in line. It's the last one. And there's just one item here that is causing the problem. I got the bigger box of the smaller one. Oh, so now I'm stuck. Okay, so that was a total disaster. I bought everything that they put on their uh, list except for there was a, a problem with, with the size of their <laughs> tampon purchase. And they didn't have the smaller box. I've got the larger box. And somehow that threw everything out of whack and the card was declined. And then I tried removing items from the order and also removing them from the app and the card was still declined. And then when I contacted support, they said to pay with my own money and they would reimburse me after like 48 hours. And I was like, I'm not doing that. Not for a hundred and something dollars. So I just canceled it. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be $99, the final to total. Uh, we drove 62 miles and we worked for 5.5 hours. So that uh, really messed up our hourly rate, but whatever, it's gonna happen. It's bound to happen. There, no day's ever gonna be perfect. $5, two cents, four miles, not taking it. So yeah, I'm just headed back home. It's probably gonna be a wrap from here. There's not much else. I, you know, it's almost one o'clock, so you never know, something might come in between here and getting home, but I doubt it. 766, two delivery, 6.9 miles, nope. 855, 8.8 .8 miles, Cafe Zupas, nope. So yeah, more than likely this is gonna be about it. Man, I couldn't believe it. I shopped for all 12 items. There were multiple substitutions because they didn't have what they wanted. They didn't have the right size for her stupid tampons <laughs> they didn't have the right they didn't have the right thing for her body her body scrub they didn't have the right thing for her um, scrub brush her face exfoliant cloth they didn't have the right thing for her um, uh, hot she wanted hot sauce some kind of like uh, tapatio or tabasco or something they didn't have that almost half of her items they didn't have and so when you get a substitution sometimes the price is different much different than what she wanted so it throws off the whole calculation of what has been approved to be paid for um, by the customer. And I have no idea until I'm at the register and then I get the big, the big old slam in the face <laughs> that I can't get the heck out of there. What made it even worse is that she ordered those Crest white strips in, the, in, a, big, in a security case. So I had to wait in, in the traditional line with all the senior citizens and it took forever because every senior citizen loves to chit chat with the cashier. So there were two of them in front of me and each one of them had to ha tell their whole life story to the cashier, 508, 8.3 miles subway, no thanks. So man, it really, it ate up my, my time, but, but it's just a part of the, of the job and whatever. I, hit, I basically hit my $2.15, 4.8 miles, China, a go go, a no no. <laughs> so yeah, it's just $18.02, 14 miles, no. Nope. So yeah. That was just, it ended on a sour note, but hey, I'm almost home and the day's over and $99, $1 short ain't gonna hurt me. I've been over $100 multiple days already, so it's no big deal. So, uh, 